Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between the words employ, employee, employer, and employment. This is a question that a student had submitted and I can definitely understand why, so I'm happy to explain that. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about the difference between employ, employee, employer, and employment. Let's start with employ. This is a verb, to employ. As a verb, of course, you need to conjugate it with your subject and your time reference. Now, what does this mean? Well, you need to understand the sentence structure of how to use this verb and someone or something like a company, someone employs someone. And when that someone or something like a company employs someone, that means that they pay them money in order to do a job. That's what the verb employ means. So let's look at some examples. I could say the company employs many students. Now you might think, oh, as a student, they're just doing the work for free, volunteer work, or it's an internship. No, it can't. If you use the verb employ, there has to be money exchanged for work. So it isn't volunteer. Even though that person is a student, if a company employs them, it means they're paying them to do that job. Another example, you could commonly ask, how many people does your company employ? How many people work at your company and receive money in order to do that work? Employee is a noun. You are most likely an employee. If you work for someone else, whether it's a company or an individual, and that someone pays you money to do the work, then you're an employee. You're not an employee if you own your own business and you work for yourself, for example. But if you work for someone else or a company, of course, then you're an employee. Now, as an example, you can ask the same question that we asked before using the verb employ, but this time you would ask how many employees? How many employees does this company have? Because now we know an employee is someone who works for a company and is paid for it. How many employees does this company have? Or another example, the company gave every employee a raise. So every person at that company that receives a paycheck, they gave them all a raise. All their employees got a raise. Now let's talk about employer. I hear many students, even sometimes native speakers, confuse employee and employer. All you have to remember is employee is the one getting paid and the employer is the one paying the employee, okay? So employer, that's like the boss, it's the company. Employee is the one working at that company and getting paid. So you can think of it as an employer is a company or an, a person that employs people, now that you know what the verb employ means. For example, let's say you're going to a job interview and they say to you, HR says to you, we need a reference from your last employer, your last employer. So the last person or company that employed you. Notice how all these words are coming together. Or another example, and this could be a great example sentence that you leave in the comments below, so just think of this. I could say, the government is the largest employer in my city. And this is true because I live in the capital and in the capital, that's where all the official government business takes place. So the government is the biggest employer in my city. The government employs the most people. So all the employees, they're employees of the government. 
See how it's all coming together? Now, finally, employment. Employment, you can think of this more as a concept. It's a noun and it's the concept of paying someone for work. But as a concept, we talk about it more in terms of employment rate, employment level. So you'll see employment used in a lot of statistics. For example, they might say right now, employment levels are at an all time low. So employment levels, that's simply the number of people employed. Now also they talk about unemployment. Unemployment. Unemployment, of course, are the people that are not employed, are not working for money, right? So you might say, the unemployment rate in my city is really high. So the number of people who are not employed. So now you know how to use employ, employee, employer, and employment. So definitely it's your turn to practice. Try writing four sentences, leave them in a com the comments below, and then feel free to leave a fifth bonus sentence and see how many you can use in one sentence because they all relate together. So you might need to watch this video again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job, don't worry if your head's spinning a little because there are so many terms. Make sure you definitely get the difference between employee and employer because you don't want to confuse those. That could cause definitely a misunderstanding. So make sure you review this video again, leave your example sentences, and don't worry, you'll get this with a little practice. And I'll see you in my next video, bye.